Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my go-to makeup look for winter with bold lips. So I'll keep on watching the video and I'll show you the step by step on how I create this look. And don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you keep up with my videos. I'm going to start off with brushing my brow hairs with the comb or what do you call it, a mascara disposable wand. And I'm going to start with Brow Pal. It's in the shade Dark Brown. I've run out of my pencil one so I'm going to use powder and just going to follow along my brows and just fill them in. And spot my husband behind me with his hands. How many times can you spot that in this video? Let me know at the end or comment below. And I also brush a bit if I think it's too much in the front of it. So it helps with making it a bit look more, a bit more natural. So now I'm going to shape up my, well, first I'm going to fill the lids with the concealer and I'm using the Tissue Claw High Cover and I prefer this one from the original one because it stays on a lot longer and it's in the shade 3. But I do love this concealer, I'm not going to lie. I use it so many times and it's so handy for so many things and I'll show you more on tips on how to use this concealer if you have not tried it before. But I'm putting it all over my eyelids because I like it as a base. If you know, I've used this so many times, but if you've got oily skin like me, this is perfect. And, or if you don't like creasing eyeshadows, but I'll talk more about it in another video. And next I'm going to use the All Night um, Setting Powder. You know that I've loved using this so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my eyelid to set the base. Then I'm going to use my, you know I've used this so many times, it's a Huda Beauty and I'm gonna use the shade Bay. It's a rose palette. It's been used and abused as you can see, it's finishing. And I'm just gonna use a light fluffy brush and just apply it all over. I don't know why I like to add so many powders, but I feel like this makes my eyeshadow more smoother and gives it a nice base as well. Next, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to use one of the top shades, I don't know if you can see it, it's called Buff. So I'm gonna use that as a transition shade and just follow her head with another fluffy brush. And I'm going back in with the bay and I'm just going to apply it on the lid and then I'm going to use a darker shade, Good As Gone, to make it a bit more intense. And then I'm going to use a Revolution Forever Dynamic and I'm going to use one of the sparkly shade which is in, it's in the shade Gem. So it's a nice sparkly color. I'm gonna use a flat brush to pack it all in. And then going back in with the Good As Gone to deepen up. If you feel like you've not had enough color, I just go back in with the same colors and just go over it again. Then go back in with the Bay and just smooth out the edges. And I'm gonna use another color from the Revolution palette and the shade is, I'm gonna use the shade Diamond. I'm just gonna add it in the middle. So it's gonna create like a halo effect, a very subtle halo. And I'm just gonna go back in just to fix up the edges. Going back in with the same gem color, add a bit more. I feel like it needs a bit more. I'm using a very small pencil and it's by MAC. You've seen me use this so many times and it's in the shade Coffee. I'm just going to fill out the eye line, the 
what do you call it the top line the water line and also along the top lid of the lashes and i like to smoke it out and create this effect it's one of my favorite ways of creating a look on the eye and I, it's my go-to that i do all the time and then i'm gonna use a small uh brush and i'm going to dip back into good as gone and i'm going to use that to smoke out the top lashes where i applied the pencil i love love this smoked out effect then i'm going to apply some mascara the paradise aesthetic by l'oreal it's one that i've been using at the moment and i'm just going to apply lots of coats of lashes coat coats i don't know why i can't talk i'm going to apply a lot of coats of it then i'm going to finish the brows off using my brow mascara next i'm doing my base so i'm gonna go in with my go-to foundation at the moment and i've been using this a lot and i love it a lot um, because it's so natural and it makes my skin look amazing and more even if you've seen my instagram you know that i've been using this a lot and i've had a lot of compliments wearing this so i just can't stop using it and all over and use my favorite stapling brush that you've seen me use like a hundred times use the touche claw pen again and just highlight over the lips the eyes and the nose just to highlight those areas And just gonna go and use my beauty sponge to blend out all the areas and then i also like to use my fingers to go under my eye so it gets right underneath the under eye so it smooths out then i'm going to use the kiko universal stick concealer and it's in the shade eight so i use this to contour very quickly it's a nice quick pen if you're in a rush, this saves you a lot of time and I like using this a lot at the moment. Then go back in with the beauty sponge, just blend it all out. And I like to use my fingers to blend it out even more so it doesn't look too shown on the nose. Then I'm gonna use my favorite powder, the Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Press Powder to go over the highlighted areas to set it all. Then I'm going to go ahead with the Hula Bronzer and then set where all the um, where I've contoured. I like this because it comes with a small brush and so easy to pack when you're going somewhere. It's my go-to that I, you know I love mixing the contour because I like it a bit more deeper creates a very blended effect so i love using anastasia contour kit that i've had for years and i like to mix powders i use a contour brush the real techniques one that i love then i'm going to add some blusher i like the nyx terracotta and it has a bit of um, shimmer to it. And I'm gonna use my favorite brush. Have you seen it a lot of times in all of my videos? And then I go back in to add a bit more depth. I feel like it needs a bit more. Then I also like to cut a bit of the concealer to create a little sharp edge and then blend it out with the sponge. It creates a very nice effect. It's up to you if you wanna do that or not. I like doing that at the moment. And I'm going to use the foundation brush and go back and blend it out. And I'm going to set all of the highlighted areas a bit more. Well, I'm going to set up the foundation base. This adds a bit more layer if you have oily skin like me. And then I like to use the Slayer All Day Jared Cosmetics Setting Spray. Then I'm dipping back in with the small brush good as gone shade from the urban decay palette and i'm going to apply it at the bottom eyelid why did i say eyelid the eye bottom liner the waterline you know what i mean and then i'm going in with the mascara and applying at the bottom lashes and uh, i don't like it looking too spidery so i use the mascara wand to just brush it and it creates a bit more natural effect 
and going in with my fave highlighter the Laura Geller um, it's a Christmas one as you know I've mentioned this like so many times you can use your favorite highlight if you want I use the Gilded Glow so it's got, uh, it's got a bit of silver and gold together so I'm just going to highlight all the highlighting points very quickly And you see that glow? I think I dropped a bit of mascara, so I went in with the mascara one to get rid of it. Then I'm going to use my favorite pencil, as you all know. It's a MAC lip pencil in the shade Cork. So this is what I love using because it goes with any um, lipstick, and it is my go-to pencil. You have seen me use this about a hundred times. This is great, it gives me the contoured effect. Then I'm going to apply lashes off camera, the Demi Wisps one, very natural looking. Now I'm going to use one of my lipsticks that I bought a while back and I've not had a chance to use. It is one of a new shade that has come out by YSL, the Rouge Per Couture, the Slim Collection. And it's in the shade Ironic Burgundy and I've just not had a chance to wear it. But look how sharp it is because it's brand new. Look at the tip. You don't need a lip liner but obviously I love a lip liner. I'm just going to fill it all in and this lipstick feels very nice and smooth but you don't have to retouch it. Like look at the colour. This burgundy is perfect for winter. I just like to fill it all in. Look at the sharpness of the lipstick. but I like my lip pencil to fill in the edges because I feel like the lipstick goes everywhere. Look at the sharpness. This is a little tip that I do when I fill my lipstick in. That's it, I'm all done. Hope you enjoyed me doing the look step by step. And if you do try this look, do give me a comment below to say that you've tried this look and do you like any of the products that we use? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and follow me on my social media. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, bye.